On the surface, it looks like any other club at a high school. Students learning the ins and outs of cycling, how to safely ride, how to clean bikes, and how to fix chains and flat tires. But this club is about more than occupying time for the youths involved. In fact, it probably wouldn't exist if not for a man who died almost 80 years ago, but continues to inspire interest in cycling today. Marshall Taylor, nicknamed Major, was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1878. At age 18, he won his first professional cycling race at Madison Square Garden, lapping the field in a half-mile race. Three years later, he won the World One Mile Cycling Championship, becoming the first African American to do so. Today, his legacy lives on in many ways, not the least of which is introducing the kids in the project that bears his name to cycling, and therefore to safety, fitness, and community service. The vision of the project um, was to introduce kids of color um, to the sport of cycling and to create access and awareness and to increase knowledge, uh, not only of cycling, but also of Major Taylor and to tell the story about Major Taylor. And, um, you know, you look at cycling and you know, tennis and golf and hockey, um, it's a very uh, one color sport, <laughs> if, if for lack of a better term. And it, uh, to have the opportunity to, to help kids explore and to introduce them to alternative sports, um, is a great thing and, and with that there needs to be a, a support system or support mechanism. King County with the support of former county executive Ron Sims donated to the Major Taylor program in its nascent stages. One of the skills students are taught is how to get around using just their bikes thereby promoting health and fitness as a way of life. Another part of the effort teaches kids how to incorporate metro transit trips into their trips to school and elsewhere not to mention their way around a bike. Uh, you can see I learned how to fix bikes and how to fix my tubes and change tires. And the things that help me is how I ride my transportation to school, I ride my bike always to my uh, to school. So you show, uh, sometimes I have to fix my bike and, and sometimes I have to get tips. Well, what I've learned from the club was that you got to learn how to make bike, like how to fix bikes, fix flats, all that kind of stuff, ride them no matter how far you go. Yeah, and I just completed the SDP a few days ago. And I would have to admit that I was tired after, but during it, I wasn't tired at all. Well, I learned the different new programs like flying wheels, STP. I also learned about the, how the rules on a bike is basically the same as the laws in the car. Um, I learned how to fix, not to fix the bike, but the few things that we're learning behind us. It's something new right now. Yeah, they taught us how to change a flat tire, check the brakes, the chain before you use it. Currently, 45 youths participate in the Major Taylor Project, and aside from this one at Global Connections High School in SeaTac, there are also clubs in White Center and Magnuson Park. The students from Global Connections recently participated in the Seattle to Portland bike ride. The 200-mile ride is organized by the Cascade Bicycle Club, which is also a major supporter of the program. The students, as well as the Major Taylor Project leaders, say on top of the cycling knowledge, they also learn lessons for life. The kids get a sense of accomplishment, get a sense of that um, what is possible. Um, they get a chance to explore uh, the neighborhoods which they live in and which they don't live in. Um, and with that comes a, a very, very strong sense of empowerment. Uh, it, uh, it's amazing to see um, the nervousness of the kids uh, when they first start the program. And then six weeks into the program, or even three or four weeks into the program, seeing them come out of their shell and start to ask questions and start to relate this project to their life and uh, how their friends and their parents are asking them a lot of questions about it. And then it's another level to see their performance improve in school. I guess the first SCP that I've done was awesome because I was kind of a little skeptical at first that I couldn't do it, but then I thought to myself, yeah, I could do this if I just put, put my mind to it. Because, yeah, you can like, 
You shouldn't give up just because something's hard. You should just push yourself through it. And if you set your mind to something, you can accomplish that goal. Yeah, let's say somebody's goal was to go to college. If they set their mind to it, they can go to college. What I like about it are the trips we go on on the new bikes. It's like they're new. They're well, they're new good bikes for me because it's like everything is new. The gears, the shifts, everything's new. Um, also, I'm meeting new people I didn't know, um, so I'm expanding my knowledge about how bike works. How bikes sometimes is usually better than cars. You get around places easier. You get to uh, know new places between the city. For more information or to learn how you can help with the Major Taylor Project, you can visit the website on your screen.